हेलो एवरीवन आई एम उस्मान नासिर फ्रॉम साइबर पैनल एंड टुडे आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन यूज साइबर पैनल एपीआई व्हिच वी हैव रिलीज्ड अ फ्यू डेज अगो सो वन ऑफ गाय फ्रॉम आवर कम्युनिटी हैव आस्क टू क्रिएट अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एक्सप्लेनर वीडियो व्हिच डेवलपर्स कैन यूज टू यूज टू मेक ए कॉल्स I will go through four uh, things in this video tutorial. The first is that uh, what is this API for? Who is this for? This is not for cyber uh, normal cyber panel users who just want to use cyber panel. This is for people, this uh, developers who want to extend some functionality or integrate cyber panel with their existing platform or infrastructure. So uh, the next thing that we will discuss is what is Postman and briefly. uh discuss about it and the third thing that we will dis discuss is how to get token which is required to make an api call then we will uh make a test api call as well so if you go to our site and under the resources section you will see an api link which you can click and you will land on this page basically postman was created to uh, created for developers to test their apis uh, now they have also added a really great tool i don't exactly know when they added that uh, you can easily convert your api calls to a good documentation so uh, to call cyber panel uh, apis or to test uh, the apis all you have to do is uh, visit this url which is available on our site as well and the, and then just click run in postman and select postman for web or postman for your desktop or mac so all of these api calls will be imported to your uh, postman account you can select any workspace all right so you can see that uh, cyber panel api apis are imported to our postman workspace and the first thing that we need to call cyber panel api is a token as i have explained here uh, basically token can be obtained using this python code uh, you need to pass admin to this username and your server password and it will then return a token which will look something like this if you just want to quickly test api through postman you can also get this token from cyber panel as well so you can open your cyber panel dashboard and uh, from here you can go to databases and php my admin and if you go to cyber panel database administrators and uh, you can see that this is the token you can just copy this token and uh, come here and paste in the variables so i will paste it here and um, you need to note that if you change your cyber panel password this token will also change and then you have to uh, i mean re add this token on postman or your api calls so this will be the host name or ip address of your cyber panel installation in this case it is either this ip or this host name so once uh, both of these things are set Uh, you can just test out the first api call we can uh, test by making our first call so you can see that this token is passed as an authorization header and i am using this variable here so you can say that the status is 1 which means that uh, our api call was a success so let's start by creating a uh, website or test user 
so uh, this is a create website api call uh, you can see its parameters from the body section uh, the server username always stays as admin uh, for every api call you can see that it stays admin for every api call the other parameters change so the domain name uh, we are going to create a cyber panel that dot net uh, let me see if it is already there or not if it is there i will delete all right i have deleted so let's call this api so you can see that uh, the create website status was one and uh, this website should be created in cyber panel so you can see that this website is created similarly you can uh, test all the apis all you have to do is just click send and uh, it will run for you and uh, if you go back here uh, in the documentation you can see that there is an example for each and if each and every api call in in all these popular programming languages for example if you are using php curl then then if you want to uh, create a website then this is the sample code that you can use all you have to do is just replace this with the ip address of your cyber panel server or, or host name and then replace this token with the token that you can get from either uh, php my admin or using uh, the code mentioned in the introduction uh, the one more thing that i would like to mention is that you do need to enable api access before you can make the, these calls so if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section thank you